Hey, well, good evening. Greetings and salutations. How you doing tonight? Fantastic. Hey, one of my favorite things to do is to take otherwise useless items or trash and turn it into something useful once again. And um, uh, one of the things that I came across the other day was how to turn this into something useful. Now, I don't consume this anymore. Um, I used to could, but I could no more. So I had to rely on the benevolence of a uh, local drunk here that so graciously left two of these full with the, the aluminum bottles at the gas pumps at one of the gas stations here. I wish I was making that up, but there were two of these in the trash can, just like this. I saw this done before, and I thought if I ever came across uh, a couple of these, I would make uh, some of these, and what these are, are alcohol stoves. If you want to make one, you need two, okay? So you need to have two. You need one to make a tool to make the stove. This is what it looks like when it's done. And basically you're taking two thirds of this bottle and turning it into something useful enough to cook or boil water. So let me show you how to turn this into this. First thing you need is two of these. Take one of them, measure up one inch from the bottom, pop a hole in the bottom and turn it into this. Take the rest of it, and throw it in your recycle bin or in a trash or whatever floats your boat. Second step is to take the second bottle and mark it two and a half inches up from the bottom and make a line using a straight edge. You just in a sharpie and you just walk it around. Make a line all the way around. And then right where this starts to neck down, you make a line, same thing all the way around. And then two inches from that line down to here, which on this particular can, bottle, whatever, is right here where it begins to taper down to the threaded part. And what you're going to use is this, this bit and this bit and the rest of this and this is going to go in your recycle bin. So after you get it marked, cut it right in half. Cut the bottle in half so you have two pieces that will allow you to take a pair of scissors and you can cut right to that line. Be careful, this is sharp. Take utility knife, and this is probably the most dangerous part because this part of the neck is the strongest part, right where you gotta cut this threaded bit off. Support the threaded part on a bench and then slowly work your utility knife into the aluminum and just cut that threaded bit off. Measure down two inches, which is right here. So measure two inches, make a line, and then cut, do the same thing. Cut your uh, aluminum to the line. All right, set that aside. Take your other piece, cut it to the line. So now you ended up with this piece, and this piece. And this piece will go inside that piece, right? Let's finish forming this. I right, take a file, flat file. And file this flat, as flat as you can, without taking too much material on. Good enough. Now I'll take a triangle file, it has that profile. Eyeball center. Turn it 90 degrees. And file little notches like that. Don't worry about understanding why. It'll all make sense in a minute. File off any burrs. Okay, now take this bit 
and insert it into the bottom, the base. Make sure it is centered. Make sure that it's centered inside there. If you look down inside here, you see the little notches? The fuel goes in here and goes into this external chamber. We're gonna make this piece. You make a die, and that's what this bit is, that'll go over the top of this so that when you press these two together, it will roll this edge over onto this. This is the base that you, you cut off at one inch and drill the, a hole in it. The size of the hole doesn't matter. This one's probably an eighth inch hole. It could be a half inch hole, it doesn't matter. Just as long as there's a hole here to allow air to escape. You can do this with a clamp like this, if, you, if this is all you got. I'm gonna use my central machinery uh, arbor press here. And what you wanna use is, is the bottom of the stove and line it up with this piece and just get it so it's kind of stuck there. Put it on the arbor press or your vise or whatever. You could use a vise too. Support the top and push. these two pieces together. The hole is to be able to get it off. In an ideal world, you'd just be able to pull this off. But I found that compressed air is your friend here. Take your stove and your tool, put them together. Put my glasses on, you can see something. There we go. Yahtzee. There. Press them together. You should end up with something like that. Now you can take and just pinch that over. Measure down 5 eighths of an inch from the top crimp. Make a line. Now on the tool that I made, I marked it out in 24 increments, equally spaced. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna slip it back on until it hits the tape. And I have to push it on all the way. But I've made those marks and they go all the way over the edge. And I'm gonna line these marks up with this plate and transfer the mark over to this side. Now I'm going to take a 16th inch drill bit and drill a hole at each intersection. Important side note, don't drill into the, the center section, only drill through the outer section. Now you got 24 jet holes and this thing's ready to ignite. So I'm going to keep this one clean and, and use alcohol in this one, isopropyl alcohol, 90% or better or uh, denatured alcohol. But I don't have any um, isopropyl alcohol that will burn. I don't have 90% here at the house. What I do have, comb and lantern fuel. Now this is an ideal, it's kind of dirty. Alcohol when it burns has a very clear flame. Uh, it's hard to pick up in, in natural light. This burns with an orange flame, orangish yellow flame, and it's really sooty. So, but it will illustrate how effective this works. I'm gonna put a little bit in the bottom. So I put, what, maybe an ounce in there? Watch this. See the fuel starting to come out? Watch this, watch what happens. Cool, huh? 
you could take a pot or something and set it right on there, right? So, like I said, I wouldn't recommend using uh, lantern fuel, but this is really designed for either 90% isopropyl alcohol or denatured alcohol as a fuel source. And for basically nothing, I can knock these out by the dozen. So, something to consider. If you ever need uh, to make something quick and dirty, you can spend you know, about a half an hour making one. I hope this video was entertaining and informative, and if I succeeded in that endeavor, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If I didn't, thumbs down. Either way it works with me. Down there, below this window, is a big button that says subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I would appreciate it if you did. And right next to that subscribe button is a picture of a bell. Ring the bell, you'll be notified of future uploads. Until next time, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep your powder dry, keep it away from alcohol stoves, you have yourself a splendid day, bye.